new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Yeah. But for the start of the show, remember everybody, you can always support the twins. Guess where? And this ain't damn Jeopardy. Tell them. <laughs> OfficialHorseTwins.com. Pick you out a patriotic t-shirt, a hat, or a white privilege card today. Or maybe some bird products. Look at the duck tail going. Look at all that hang I got going. It's all them damn bird oils. First black man with mullets. <laughs> hey, shut up. And we got some new shows come. Going to San Antonio, going to Dallas in November. Go to hogstwinstour.com for tickets. Oh, that's not how you say it. We got some new shows coming. We coming to Dallas. We coming to San Antonio. Show in Indianapolis got canceled because a bunch of gay people. But hey. Uh, anyway, we're going to talk about. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, you gay people in Indianapolis, man. Hey, why you keep talking to them? These gay people, they mess with my money. That's why. <laughs> I'm trying to earn a living. Stop addressing the This bunch- is a free country, you bigoted gay people. Man, you can be gay and bigoted. <laughs> Y'all probably don't know that. Just because you got you a homosexual, don't give you special benefits. <laughs> nah, man, I'm putting my foot down with these homosexuals. <laughs> Kevin, all right, that's enough. They can't take a joke. I don't even know why you try to joke with them. I'm trying to teach you, man. All right, breathe. Man. Hey, gay person, breathe. Hey, man, breathe, you homosexual. I was just joking. What's wrong with you? Ain't that wrong with me? It's something wrong with them, man. No, something wrong with I you. I can't, I can't, I can't speak my mind. I can't make a joke. No, you, um, you, uh, you, what? I'm patronizing. Yeah, you, no, whatever you want to call it, you antagonizing it. That's nice. That's, that's what they don't do is antagonize a gay person. I don't. I don't. They already antagonized. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying you homosexuals got to breathe sometimes. All right, you just take a breath. You reach your limit on saying the word homosexual in one video. Well, the homosexual is not derogatory. The way you said it is. The F word is derogatory, but the term homosexual, mm-mm. I can say this many times that I won't just So be- this video is about uh, gay people? No. I just, I'm well, not- why are we still talking about them then? I'm just saying homosexual is not a, a derogatory term. Like ball grabber, that's derogatory. <clears throat> that could be a straight or gay person. Man, you crazy as hell. <laughs> hey, what are we talking about? Kamala again? I'm starting over. You ain't starting nothing over. What's wrong with you? Were you scared you're going to get censored? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kevin, let's get serious on this. I am serious. I'm just... I mean it, damn it. <laughs> get serious on this. Stop joking all the damn time. <laughs> All right, Kamala Harris, the first black, first Asian. Hey, hey first before we ge- get to Kamala, I got a homosexual friend, man. He just ain't came out of the closet yet. <laughs> Everybody knows he's gay. So you can't say I'm homophobic because I got a gay friend. <laughs> he just ain't came out of the closet yet. <clears throat> All right, let's get to Kamala. No, nah, you go ahead and just run the show. No, nah, I'm talk tired about of talking about homosexuals. No, nah, <laughs> no, nah, you ain't. I think you got some more gay jokes in you. Let's get serious on this, man. Hey, did we tell them to get 25% off use dad uh, 25? No, nah, you was too busy talking about homosexuals. I know, they distracted me. Damn gay people. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, use dad 25. You get 25% off your purchase for... Father's Day. Yeah. All right. So Kamala Harris. That even applies to homosexuals. Because <laughs> we're not homophobic. <laughs> Especially when you give me money. <laughs> hey man, you just got you just got you a gay joke. Yeah, I got me one in there. You got you one in there, man. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get serious on this. All right. All right, Kamala Harris, the worst VP in history. The first black. The first Asian. The first Indian. The first. Woman. Yeah, the, 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 what makes it so bad, man, she's black. She's making all black people look bad. Man, why'd you say that? She's black. That's what she says. That's what everybody says she is. It's one not, person, she's not a good representation of well, black Well, one people. person is not uh, the litmus test for a uh, demographic of people. Never yeah. have been. Yeah. 
Well, they say you're supposed to be smarter than liberals. Yeah, it's true. Only a liberal would say that. Idiots. Well, stop acting like one. Yeah, I'm acting like a liberal. You know, you pissing me off today. <laughs> Let me put my conservative hat on today. <laughs> All right. So, you yeah, know. That's why we're talking about Kamala. Hey, why the hell are you cutting me off constantly today? I ain't cutting you off. I, it's my show, too, you know. Yeah, it's it is. It's Harsh Twins. It's, it's Harsh Twins. It's Harsh Twins. It's not Harsh Twins. Hey, Kevin, we've, I've been starting like a sentence, and then you can start talking like I'm not even here. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm being unprofessional. Let's get serious on this. We've got a crisis at the border. All right, so when uh, Biden and Harris won the election. Damn, how that, man? 81 million votes, too, man. That's unbelievable. Crazy, man. They it's, keep saying this country's racist. You just uh, elect, you elected a black man twice as president, and you elected a black woman as vice president. See? Oh, it's the country one race. <laughs> you right. just got to open your eyes and look around sometime. Yeah, I don't think that's a good um, test of if, if whatever. You can't say it, man. Anyway, um, so when they got elected, Biden named Kamala like the border czar because even though there's a crisis at the border, they, they wouldn't call it that. They said it's a challenge at the border, <laughs> right? They're just hiding behind semantics. What's the difference? Yeah. Just challenge sounds better. Where, where has there been a crisis where there's not a damn challenge? Right? But anyway, man, you smart as hell, man. That was some Socrates shit you just said. That shit went over a liberal's head. They like, it's what? I don't understand. <laughs> right? So, and it's even, not a crisis, it's a challenge. Yeah. So she was on, what was it, MSNBC? Uh, NBC. Just on to that black dude like Megamind. That dude do got a big forehead. <laughs> Mega man, Mega man went and got a tan. <laughs> no, Mega man is blue. Well, he's light skinned now. Uh, but anyway, uh, he's a light tan. She she got interviewed by Lester Holt, and Lester a Holt, journalist. I mean, I mean, you're not. I he's mean, old school too, man. But he's not, all of y'all not really journalists. Y'all don't do y'all's job. I yeah. mean, you was about to. Yeah. But then, <laughs> that you bitch. was like. Yeah. yeah. And then when she gave you that stupid answer, you was like, oh, why do I even bother with this one? <laughs> <laughs> so here's the interview. Check it out. Okay. Do you have any Mega plans mind. to visit the border? I, at some point, you know, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. Yeah. So you, this whole, this whole, this whole thing about the border. We've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and <laughs> I haven't been to Europe. And I, I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. I'm not discounting the importance of the border. Well, I, I, I mentioned it because I, even I, I know Republicans have certainly come at you on this, but Democratic Congressman Cuellar as a border district has said to the, you and the president, come, you need, I care you need to see about, this. Listen, I care about what's happening hmm. at the border. I'm in Guatemala because my focus is dealing with the root causes of migration. There may be uh, some who think that that is not important, but it is my firm belief <laughs> that if we care about what's happening at the border, we better care about the root causes and address them. And so that's what I'm doing. Are you stupid. Hey, before I hey, even address, hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me say something. Before I even address what she said, it's not that he has a big forehead. I mean, he's losing his hair and he's combing the shit straight back. I mean, with that hairline, why is you combing your shit back like Stevie Wonder? Stevie you. Wonder has a reason. He's blind. <laughs> <laughs> you looking crazy as hell pulling all your hair back like that. Well, what are you going to comb it to the front? It's going to look even crazy. Yeah, do that comb over action. Man, let's go, let's the Holt is sharp, man. I mean, he still looks sharp. He just got showing off too much forehead action. Yeah, check out the big brain on Lester Holt, man. <laughs> Asking the tough questions. Hey, hey, uh, Mr. Producer Chris Overtime. Hey, go back to that part where she he asked her, uh, when you you haven't been Why to the board. Why we gotta say it again? I want you to see her eyes when she started blinking. That shit was funny. Man, how many times she, I gotta she look forgot. at this stupid woman? <laughs> just go back to that part. Watch every time she blinks. This whole, this whole thing about the border, we've what? been to Here the border. Go. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. <laughs> I didn't catch that. And I, mean, I, don't, I don't understand the point. I cut it off just like this. <laughs> what a mouth open. Why is your mouth open like you about to suck something? <laughs> it got out of trouble last time.
That's where a woman looks the first time she's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> Why'd you have to take it down? Hey, hey, hey. Man, this damn show hey, went off the hey, rails, hey, man. Hey, 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 did you see her, man? She said, what's the point of me going? What's the point of that question? I mean, that, that response, she said, well, I haven't been to Europe. That's not like a very vice presidential type of response. Well, she summed it up herself. She doesn't even understand why she's asking the question. Let me break it down for you, Kamala. By name, you the border czar. Yeah. There's a challenge, a.k.a. crisis at the border. Yeah. You haven't even went down there. You're a politician. You're supposed to at least show like you give a damn. Yeah, go. We all know you don't care. You should have just went. You're the border czar. Yeah. What the hell does Europe have to do with our border <laughs> challenge? Yeah, we ain't got a bunch of Europeans uh, swimming over here illegally. Got a bunch of <laughs> Guatemalans. Got a bunch yeah. of Mexicans. And she says the root cause is Guatemala. That mm -hmm. is not the root cause. The root cause is you and Biden. Your the policies. Go yeah. down to the border and look what your policies is doing. Yeah. yeah. That, what's occurring at the border? It's because of your policies. Yeah. People are walking up here with Biden t-shirts. <laughs> Trump had fixed the issue. Yeah. Stay in Mexico while all this paperwork, all this stuff gets mm -hmm. gets handled. Yeah. Building a wall. Y'all yeah. threw all that away. This shouldn't even be a, a liberal or a conservative issue. This is an American issue. You should at least go down there and, and you know, get firsthand knowledge from people, what they need, what's going on, what's the real issues there. You can help facilitate some change at the border. Yeah. But you're not going there just showing and proving to everybody you don't give a crap. Yeah, you the vice president. You're supposed to be a leader. How about showing leadership, going down there to the challenge, <laughs> and maybe giving some ideas on how to <laughs> resolve the issues. Yes. I ain't been to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> And what the hell is so funny? Every time somebody asks you a question, you laugh. It's probably because you don't know the fucking answer. <laughs> you could, something horrible could have happened in the United States. You would, there, laugh. you would laugh because you wouldn't know how to answer it. Yeah. It's a nervous reaction. It's how she deals with stress. It's poor leadership. She's nervous. Yeah. She's not a leader. Yeah. She was like the worst candidate out of all the candidates candidates on the yeah. Democratic side. Yeah. She was the worst. Her and the other black dude. <laughs> that dude with that lazy eye. With bathroom booker. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all were the worst candidates. Yeah, I couldn't stand even looking at bathroom booker, man. You looking at him, looking like he looking around you. <laughs> so I'm over here, booker. <laughs> bathroom booker, I'm right here. What are you looking over that for, man? Talk hey. to me, man. Hey. hey, um, what I was gonna say, man, is um <clears throat> <clears throat> man, that damn bathroom book will make my mind go blank. Oh well, let me just laugh it off. <laughs> <laughs> you pull a cabal. <laughs> just laugh and play that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know shit. <laughs> 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 I ain't been a European. <laughs> I mean, let's the hope. That, was, that, that was not, I look at the interview, that was not a tough interview at all. Yeah, I mean, he asked her a tough question. One little tough a uh, common sense question. He got that response. He was like, man, why, I shouldn't even, yeah. if I attack this woman, I'm going to make her look like the imbecile she really is. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Her and Biden. Complete morons. I mean, the, the, the things that were falsy and I mean, and now they're, they're coming out on, on, on the left talking about they're not even going to. I mean, they're saying it's a waste of time for him to even look at the origination of that virus, uh, Chinese virus, COVID-19. I mean, it just it's just everything that comes out of liberals' mouths just further shows how the hypocrisy, they don't really care. It's only a challenge when Trump is in an office. Yeah, when um, they're in office, it's not a, it's not a crisis. It's a, yeah. It just don't um, make sense. It's the reason why they can't really address, like, COVID, because it's been politicized, yeah. um, like uh, the border, mm -hmm. they they can't really attack the issue because they politicized it. Yeah. If if they handle the problem, right. then you'll see you'll find out who's really the uh, the problem. Yeah, like they can't really address the lab leak in right. China because they blame Trump for that. Right. They, they can't, can't really go at the root cause. The root cause of that, yeah. a lot of that was funded by United States. Yeah, like uh, the border. liberals. Yeah, like they can't attack the border because they made Trump out to be like a xenophobe, a racist right. person that don't like immigrants. If they attack it, they're going to have that yeah. same impression on people because they're going to be enforcing this policy. Yeah, that's why That's why they can't really answer questions because they, 
yeah. they're going to put their foot in their mouth. Yeah. But I don't even know that why whole, you worrying about putting your foot in your mouth. The damn journalists, they all cover for you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this lady is a complete buffoon. Just go to the border. That's why. I mean, you was in a plane. You flew right over. You went to Guatemala. You could have just made a pit stop. <laughs> That's just too much thinking there. No, she's lazy. She don't want to go. That's why she hasn't yeah. went. She already knows this f***ed up. Why even go? Well, I think uh, I think um, she's waiting for the right time, the right opportunity to go because she doesn't. Because I'm pretty sure um, Biden's not going to. He's not. I mean, if he makes it, it's going to be a miracle to the end of his He'll term. Make it. But make the it. next person that's going to run for president is going to be Kamala, and she don't want to jeopardize that. That's one of the main reasons why she's trying to make that crisis at the border not to be a crisis to a challenge. Man, that's just, why Biden said some of the things he said about the border, about welcoming people into this well, country. She's a horrible candidate. She ain't yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. Ain't, she, ain't, she would not win against well, they got she would in? She would not win against anybody. Yeah, well, they got 81 men. Mitt state. Romney could run for president against her. She still would not win. No, that's that's kind of crazy. I think she would win. <laughs> Mitt Romney is a piece of shit. <laughs> what, do you, what do you call Kamala? Yeah, she's a piece of shit too, but I think uh, when you put them together, he's a turd. Yeah. It's disgusting, ain't it? That's what he is. He's a turd in a suit. Yeah, politically. That's why we call him that. But anyway, I'm done talking about this. This is just pissing me <laughs> off. Just tired of all the hypocrisy. <laughs> all the all the lies, all oh. the liberal lies, all the, all the bullshit. Tired of all of it. Yeah. Let's make America great again. <laughs> Damn. So yeah. Mike Lindell, true patriot. He needs our help. Here's a man who started from nothing. Built a great company. Great products. Have seen rock bottom. Have seen the worst. He ran through drug addiction. Yeah. I mean, this man has accomplished so much thing. He's the epitome of the American dream. He worked hard, has a successful business, great products. And just yeah. because he supported the president of the United States, yeah. they've taken him out over 20 stores. They abandoned him on social me media. Yeah. He's having a tough time even marketing his products. Yeah. In this country, he's a man of principle. He has employees. He's got a great product. Mm. And just because he has different uh, political opinions, Big Tech wants him to go away. But we're not going to let that happen yeah. on our channel. They, they want to crush this business, yeah. too. So support Mike Lindell. Go to MyPillow.com and use discount code HOGSTWINS. Get up to 60% off. Yeah. We take care of our patrons in this country. Don't forget, go to officialhorsetwins.com. Go to the Fight Censorship tab. Hit the links. Follow us on Telegram. Follow us on Rumble. And follow us on YouTube. They haven't censored us there yet. Yeah, they're actually being fair. Yeah. Go to officialhorsetwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese Virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.